Hey cryptocurrency market, it's Denny Lovejoy, your favorite blockchain tutorial, Jedi Master, and in this video, I'm sharing with you how to set up a red coin wallet. So I'll jump right into it. The first step is to find the correct domain name. So we're gonna go to coin market cap for this. And there's a search bar here, which you could use. All you have to do is type in red coin and it auto populates for you. Red is spelled R-E-D-D -D coin. So go ahead and do that. You could search it and what happens is it tells us what their website is here. So go ahead and click that. And it takes us to redcoin.com. So feel free to search that if you want to. Redcoin.com with two Ds. Just make sure you don't misspell anything and verify it's a H TTPS website and verify it has this green padlock right here which says it's a secure connection so it is we're good here the other way to find their website is to go on their Twitter profile so I'll show you how I do that back on coin market cap under red coin there's a social button here next to markets and if I click it and scroll down again it tells me the Twitter profile for Redcoin. So I'll go ahead and click that. And as you can see, this is the Redcoin account on Twitter. They have 72.4 thousand followers. And the link that they're promoting here in their bio is redcoin.com. So great, this is the actual website for Redcoin. And I don't need these websites up anymore. And this leads us to step number two, which is to choose the correct wallet. So let's go ahead and do that. So on this website here, there's a getting started button. And you actually just want to go ahead and click that button. Because step one is to get a wallet. And it's saying install Redcoin Core 2.0. And choose the following options, Windows, Mac, or Linux. And before we download anything, I do want to be clear that the Redcoin Core wallet here is the main wallet and is highly recommended for everyone. And it's developed and maintained by the Redcoin Core development team. So let's move on to step number three, which is to download the wallet. So at this point in the video, go ahead and choose the appropriate download for you. I'm using a MacBook desktop. However, if you're using a Windows or Linux, feel free to continue following along with me in the video. So I'm gonna click Mac OS here. And if you look at the bottom left side of my screen, it starts to download. And it's saying it's gonna take about 30 seconds to do. Feel free to pause it one more time if you'd like and continue playing the video once it's done downloading for you. So great, it just downloaded right now. So we're gonna move on to step number four, which is to install the wallet. All you have to do is click this download right here once, and it's gonna start opening. It's asking me to drag this application to my applications folder. So I'll go ahead and do that. And I'll try opening it by double clicking on it. And it's saying Redcoin can't be open because it's from an unidentified developer. So the work around that is to click OK. So the proper way to actually open the wallet is to go to your finder, go to your applications, then find Redcoin here in the folder, and you're gonna want to right click it and then click open. So now it's saying, are you sure you wanna open it? And I'm gonna say yes, open. It's saying Redcoin Core will download and store a copy of the Redcoin blockchain which is 20 gigabytes. It's giving me two options, the default or custom option. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the default option and click OK. So great, it actually opened up and this is what the Redcoin Core wallet looks like. It appears to be a very basic wallet and it has a send button here where you could pay to a Redcoin address, choose a label, amount, and click send. You could also request by choosing a label, the amount, message, and clicking request payment here. And then there's a transactions history here. And on the overview, they have the balance of the wallet. 
and on the bottom it says it's still syncing with the network. So you do want to wait for it to actually sync before actually using it. In this video, I am not showing you how to send, receive, backup, protect, or even update the wallet. In this video, I'm just showing you how to download and install it and show you around the wallet a little bit. So the next step, step number five, is to verify that you can open and close the wallet. So I'll show you how I do that right now. I'm gonna drag my screen recorder to the top left here. And what I'm gonna do is drag this too. And it pops up red coin right here. What I'm gonna do is click quit and it starts shutting down right now. And to reopen it, all you have to do is go to your finder, go to your applications, and then find red coin here. And once you do, you right click it and then click open. And voila, here it is once more. So great, it's still syncing. Let that sync. It may take a while to do so. Keep in mind, you do not need login details for this wallet. It's primarily just stored on your desktop. It doesn't go anywhere else besides on your desktop. So there you go. That's how you set up a Redcoin Core wallet. In this video, I showed you how to download and install it. And that concludes my video. If you like watching blockchain tutorials like this, get the cryptocurrency investing blueprint. You can learn more at cryptocurrency.market slash blueprint and get 10% off using my promo code Denny2018. Go check out the display address right here on the screen or check out the links below. You could also follow our team on Twitter. You could find me at Denny Lovejoy. And thank you so much for watching this blockchain tutorial on how to set up a Redcoin Core wallet for Redcoin. And if you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, leave me a message on Twitter. Thanks again and have a terrific day. I'll see you on the next blockchain tutorial.